So now in this video, we will see how to do chi-square test in biostatistics or in PSM. Okay. Now, uh, the question is distribution of eye color by sex of 500 American children is given below. We are given a table in the question showing eye color and sex. And we have to find out is there any association between the eye color and the sex of uh, children. So, to calculate chi-square test, you have to follow five steps, okay? So, step one is formulation of hypothesis. You first have to formulate the hypothesis. Null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. So, what is null hypothesis? Null hypothesis uh, here in this case will be, we presume that there is no association between the eye color and the sex. Okay, in null hypothesis, we assume that there is no association. And in alternate hypothesis, we presume that there is association present. Okay, in null hypothesis, we assume that there is no association present. In alternate hypothesis, we assume that there is association present. So first step is formulation of hypothesis both null hypothesis means no association alternate hypothesis means there is association. Then to test the hypothesis we will do a chi-square test. We will apply chi-square test here. Okay now this is the step one and then step two is uh, we have to calculate the expected value in the question uh, from the question. The value which uh, we are given in this question, uh, this, 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 this and all the others, hmm. this uh, underlined values are the observed value. Okay, the observed value will always be given in the question. Now we have to calculate the expected value for them. Why? Because uh, the formula of chi-square test is chi-square uh, is equal to summation of observed minus expected value ka whole square divided by expected value. Okay, x, uh, x square is chi-square test and this is the sign of summation and O is the observed value, E is the expected value. So this is the formula, therefore we have to calculate expected value from the observed value in the given data. So how to calculate it? So for calculating expected value, we will do uh, we will use this formula okay uh, vertical total into horizontal total by sample total or grand total so uh, we have to apply it like this for a cell we have to calculate the expected value uh, by the vertical total which is 200 okay into the horizontal total which is 150 Vertical total, horizontal total divided by the grand total. This is our grand total. So, vertical total 200 uh, into horizontal total 150 divided by grand total which is 500. So, for A, the value is 60 here. Okay. Now, for B, the B cell, vertical total is 300, horizontal total is 150. The 300 into 150 by grand total 500. So it is 90. Here is 90. Then for C, cell C, vertical total 200, horizontal total is 350. 200 into 350 by grand total 500. And then uh, the answer is uh, 140. Then for cell D, vertical total means 300, horizontal total means 350. 300 into 350 divided by 500 and answer is 210. So, this is how we have calculated the expected value from the observed value given in the question. Now, after calculating this, we have to put this in the formula of our chi-square test. Okay, so step 3 is put in the formula. The, what is the formula? Chi-square is equal to summation of observed minus expected value ka whole square divided by expected value. For each cell, we have to put this individually. So this summation means we have to sum everything individually. Individually each cell. This is cell A, B, C, D. We have to individually sum, uh, we have to do individually summation of each cell uh, by applying this formula. So, uh, now we have to do summation of individually. So, the what is the formula? Observed minus expected by expected. So, what is the observed value which is given in the question? 50 for A cell. Okay. So, it is 50. In uh, 50 minus expected value 60. By expected value means 60. Okay. Is the whole square. 
and for this is also uh, same for b cell it is observed value means 100 minus expected which is 90 ka whole square divided by expected 90 for c square uh, cell it is observed means 150 minus expected 140 divided uh, in uh, is ka whole square divided by 140 and for d cell it is observed value which is 200 minus expected 210 by uh, 210 expected is ka whole square so after calculating it uh, we will get uh, this result we have to individually sum everything and after calculating all this we get the value of chi square for all the four cells uh, summation as 4 now how to interpret it so step 4 uh, okay first we have to calculate degree of freedom now after we have first uh, in first step we have calculated uh, we have uh, formulated the hypothesis null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis then in step 2 uh, we did uh, we, uh, we derived the expected value in step 3 we put everything in the formula for each cell individually and and now in step 4 we have to calculate the degree of freedom okay we have to calculate degree of freedom for our degree of freedom the formula is number of rows minus 1 uh, into number of columns uh, minus 1 so what are rows what are columns so these are columns these are rows so we have two rows this is one row and this is second row and we have two columns this is one column this is second column total is not calculated okay because we are adding uh, the total by these only now therefore they, it is not calculated so we have two rows and two columns so degree of freedom will be 2 minus 1 into 2 minus 1 means 1 degree of freedom and uh, table value for degree of freedom will be given in the question so our step 5 is interpretation and conclusion what we will get so the calculated chi square test which is 4 is higher than the table value at degree of freedom 1 this which is given in the uh, question so this value the calculated chi square value is higher as the calculated value is higher so the null hypothesis is rejected null hypothesis was saying that there is no association but we reject it because uh, our value is higher so conclusion is that uh, there is significant association statistically significant association present between eye color and sex of the child this is our conclusion because we get the uh, value as higher than the degree of uh, freedom value at uh, uh, one so the null hypothesis is rejected now let's see another question uh, in a boarding school 80 children were given oral typhoid vaccine 80 children were given oral typhoid vaccine and 120 children were given injectable typhoid vaccine typhoid outbreak occurred after one year among the oral vaccine received children 20 children got typhoid and among the injectable vaccine uh, also 20 children uh, developed typhoid find whether there is any association whether there is any difference in efficacy between the two vaccines so two vaccines were given to children oral and injectable so first we have to make a table out of it the typhoid disease present means occurred or not occurred and uh, vaccine which uh, is given whether it is oral or injectable so in question it is given that 80 children were given oral typhoid vaccine okay so 80 children were given oral typhoid vaccine and 120 children were given injectable so injectable were given 120 120 children were given injectable and out of uh, both 2020 got the typhoid disease so 2020 got the disease so these values were given in the question we substituted them in the table now uh, so we can calculate this by subtracting this and we can calculate the total here okay and the 200 is grand total now now we have to follow the steps first we have to formulate the hypothesis 
formulate the hypothesis uh, in which we formulate the two types of hypothesis the null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis null hypothesis means we shall presume that there is no difference no difference between the efficacy of the two vaccine and in alternate hypothesis we shall presume that there is a difference between the efficacy of two vaccine okay then to test hypothesis we will do chi square test then in step 2 we have to calculate the expected value then how to calculate the expected value again uh, we have to apply that formula the horizontal to uh, vertical total into horizontal total divided by sample total okay so uh, we will calculate it as vertical total 40 into horizontal total 80 divided by grand total 200 Okay, here for B, vertical total one sixty, horizontal total eighty, divided by grand total two hundred. Here, vertical total for C for forty, horizontal total one twenty, divided by grand total two hundred. And for D, vertical total one sixty, horizontal total one twenty, and grand total divided by two hundred. So we got the expected value for each cells individually. Okay. Now step three, we have to substitute this uh, value in the chi square test formula. So chi square test is summation of observed minus expected value plus whole square divided by expected value. So observed value is twenty minus expected value is sixteen. Ka whole square divided by sixteen plus sixty uh, observed value minus sixty four uh, whole square divided by sixty four. Similarly for this, twenty minus twenty-four is so the whole square divided by twenty-four, and this hundred minus ninety-six by ninety-six hundred minus ninety-six whole square divided by ninety-six. So we substituted the formula, uh, substituted value in the formula, and now after calculating it, uh, we will get the value of chi-square for the total. And always remember the numerator will come. Uh, same with different signs, uh, different signs and two of the value. Okay, okay. Now, after calculating the chi square uh, value, the step four is calculate degree of freedom. Degree of freedom is row minus one, column minus one. So as we have two rows and two columns, total is not calculated. So we have two minus one, two minus one. That is degree of freedom is one. And fifth step is interpretation and conclusion. So, uh, the calculated chi-square value, which is two point one two, is lower than the degree of freedom at, uh, of chi-square table at one. Degree of freedom of one at chi-square test is three point eight four, and the calculated value is lower. So, the null hypothesis is accepted. That means what? Null hypothesis says that there is no association, and we uh, and we accepted it. So. Conclusion is that there is statistically no significant difference, no significant difference between the efficacy of oral and injectable typhoid vaccine. There is no statistical significance, uh, statistically significant difference between the efficacy of the oral and injectable typhoid vaccine. This is how we do it.